face that this world has forgotten. Hmm. What is up, you guys, and welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better. Now, this week we're gonna tackle what I think is the most elegant Generation 5 Pokemon in the whole game, actually, being BHM versus Reuniclus. Now, the reason these two are matched up together is because they both pack a really, really strong special attack. They're really, really high, definitely above average, but has a low speed. These two Pokemon still to this day define, what would I say, the best Trick Room setter is when it comes to offensive teams, since they thrive in this kind of environment very, very good due to that low speed. They can work as a defensive pivot, they can also work as a possible sweeper and setup sweeper, and of course a wall breaker, and can shift momentum very good due to this very recent and very high special attack stat. So, is that to me, to their stats, ability, and move pool, nor arcing theme to see which one of these two really are better. And the Pokemon I want to cover first is the Master Alien, that is BHM. Now, when it comes to Psychic Type, we're going to just mention Psychic Type as a defensive typing and offensive. It is not necessarily great at either side. We're assisting Fighting and Psychic, and we're weak to Bug, Dark, and Ghost. So, defensively, not really that scary. It hits super effectively to us Pokemon that are actually, in general, slower with Poison and Fighting primarily. But overall, I would say the perk of... A psychic type is that it hits everything neutrally very very often with very few repercussions. One would say the only things that I should wall this out is of course like the dark type being immune and of course steel type that do resist it. Outside of that, it, psychic is a very very spammable type and a strong stab in general but as stated not necessarily the strongest defensive typing if anything. And if we're looking upon the stat to be here it actually is fairly balanced when it comes to what the first three stats of HP, attack, and defense at 75. Um, fair bulk uh, when it comes to that side. A special attack, very high, it's supposed to be 1 in 25. There, there are a lot of things stinging when it comes to switching to this Pokemon, so it's definitely worth keeping in mind. 95 in special defense is also at the same time fairly high to combine with that 75 HP. So the worst part about Behem would be its speed, but as stated, it's supposed to be slow with Trick Room in mind. So for the base speed, while slow, it is supposed to be so. Definitely have the tankier stats to pull off a Trick Room set. And quite frankly, it can take hits and retaliate fairly all right. Uh, it is a very dangerous Pokemon due to that very high special attack. And even at that, for the base speed, it's still not the slowest Pokemon around. So it still is passable, but definitely aren't necessarily that workable. However, when it comes to why the speed tier actually is good, we have actually an ability that complements that in Analytics. Analytics makes sure that if you're going last, you get a 30% boost, so basically a life or boost to any attack you will do. And that is scary. That means that you inherently want to be slower than your opponent to retaliate and most likely actually KO because of that as stated super high special attack and getting a 30% boost to that and of course with boosting item like specs things looks very tough very fast making BHM one of those really strong Pokemon to be inherently slower and retaliate. We also have two other abilities which I don't believe are as workable. Synchronize would of course make sure that if you get a status your opponent will get the same status if they aren't immune to that potential status and telepathy which makes sure that you can't get hit by your allied Pokemon if you're playing VGC. However, I would say Annihilated is the only reason we're using BHM in the first place, and quite frankly, it is a very good analytics Pokemon because of those mixed defensive stats with that low speed and that high special attacks. So BHM overall, really good analytics ability, if anything. But when it comes to the move pool, I really just want to thank my computer for doing what it did and actually getting rid of those two creatures I had for both Reuniclus and BHM. However, I still have the list and I'm gonna go through them as it is. They have a similar move pool overall anyway, and BHM actually, I would say, has a really interesting niche. First and foremost, we have Psychic Train. It's a great thing to have, considering your Sucker Punch and whatnot. Actually, just going with Sucker Punch and a Trick Room actually capitalize on Psychic Train is very, very, very mean. And I definitely like that quite a lot. We have Wonder Room, which makes sure that your defense and special defense are swapped for five turns. And that could always be nice if you're facing a Pokemon like, let's say, Chansey, who have a high special defense. If you don't want to have Psy Shock, going for Wonder Room means your Psychic will do the damage. And with Psychic Terrain in mind, yeah, that will just keep on going. We also have Heal Block, which is a very strong niche move. Make sure that you actually uh, make sure that your opponent can't 
You go for any healing moves. Simple Beam makes sure that you actually rid of your opponent's ability and actually get simple. Uh, we have Calm Mind. We have also Power Split, Guard Split, and uh, Recover, which is always going to be a very relevant move. When it comes to the TM side, let's say that the Psy Shock is very good. We have Thunderball, Shadow Ball, Rock Tomb as a possible filler move, Energy Ball, Charge Beam which with an Assault Vest set can be very, very interesting to use actually. Rock Slide, we have Steel Wing, I think I need to mention Steel Wing even though it is not a viable. It still is a, one of those really weird moves to get. Trick Room, of course, is there. Uh, we have Dark Pulse, and when it comes to the Egg abilities and moves, we have one thing that I think sets apart, which is Nasty Plot. We also have Skill Swap. The uh, reason I want to mention Skill Swap is a conjunction with Simple Beam. Being able to first and foremost go for simple beam, then skill swap, getting simple ability towards yourself, going for nasty plot. While it's a long series of play, once you definitely mention to go for nasty plot and get to plus four directly, pretty scary. Definitely pretty scary. We also have disable. We have cosmic power if you're going for more defensive variants here and barrier. Uh, all of these things are relevant, and quite frankly, Cosmic Power Recover is actually not half bad if you actually have in the likes of Cold War Barry to be able to pretty much make sure that you aren't weak to dark moves, if anything. When it comes to the Mute to Remove, there are a variety here, some being useful, some not so much. Uh, one that I really like is Magic Coat, which makes sure that you can actually bounce back any status or any kind of hazards your opponents are throwing out. Pain split in case you don't want to go for recover since your HP is not the highest. It's actually fairly viable. Trick, uh, definitely don't need explanation. Usually, this Pokemon carry, of course, um, specs. Uh, so, if you want to actually pass the specs to your opposing Pokemon, you will be able to do so, and it's actually quite right. Uh, I definitely appreciate that quite a lot. But overall, I would say that the offensive capabilities of these Pokemon is fairly high. The only thing I think BHM is actually lacking is Focus Blast, which definitely would help this Pokemon quite a lot, breaking through Steel types. However, we have a broad variety in different kind of stabs, moving with, of course, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, uh, Thunder Ball, and of Charge Beam, which is always going to be relevant, together with the like of Psychic and Psy Shock. But as stated, not having a finding stab is definitely a letdown, but the nasty plots kind of weigh that up because it means that not only can you boost yourself fairly high, you will also be able, with analytics in mind, do a very, very heavy chunk on very, very many matchups. And of course, with Trick Room, Trick Room Nasty Block, very hard to deal with overall, which makes BHM, while underrated, still an extremely dangerous threat overall. And definitely a Pokemon I think would benefit from actually be experimented on a lot more than it actually is because it is not just your average psychic type it is a very dangerous psychic type so with the alien cover now we're of course going to talk about defeatus and reuniclus now i don't need to cover psychic type as the defensive type again i definitely think i got my point across here but what stands out for reuniclus while they are as stated very 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 similar reuniclus has a few peaking stats that stands out one of those being hp 110 very high for a Pokemon, very rare to see one of 10 base Pokemon, and that's really good towards Reuniclus, while the Pokemon itself isn't a defensive typing, having extra HP, thus mean the recovery will be more effective towards Reuniclus. That said though, 65 is definitely lower, 75, same defense actually as BHM, same special attack at 125, as stated before, very scary, very dangerous, extremely annoying. Um, <laughs> because it's so hard to switch into. Special defense slightly lower here, 85 instead of 95, so it's definitely less specially defensive. And this beats here at 30. As stated before though, since both these Pokemon are used in Trick Room, 30 is not necessarily that bad, it just means that you outslow other Pokemon very, very, very nicely and effectively. So overall, I would say Reuniclus has the better stat distribution, and with those HP stat, it does kind of helped it be even more defensively capable than BHM. I definitely would say due to Dex HP that while it does take a lot more HP on a hit, it definitely takes them better due to of course the working theme of having a lot more HP distribution to actually capitalize on. And of course as stated due to the speed here in this Pokemon using Trick Room in general, it also means that the speed here is in my opinion more relevant because it will mean that Trick Room is more effective when it's on board with Reuniclus active. And also when it comes to abilities, while Analytics was one of those really, really good abilities on um, BHM, I would say Reuniclus have something very, very close to that in Magic Magicard Magic Art makes sure that no 
other residual damage come onto you, which means that no passive ones like Sandstorm will not be buffed, or Hazards will not affect you, and Life Orb, which boosts your attack by 30%, will not give you residual damage. So basically, Magic Art Life Orb could be definitely be a substitute for the likes of actually an analytics boost. So Magic Art overall is what makes this Pokemon really, really good. While the other two abilities and Overcoat, which works... I would say Overcoat is worse. Definitely wouldn't use it at all on Runic list if, unless you want to be immune to likes of the Powder moves. But overall, I would say they're waste with Magic Art Selective. But Regenerator is a one ability that I think is decent. It makes sure you get 25, roughly, percent of your HP back when you switch out. And consider the HP side on this Pokemon, it's a relevant ability to have. However, I think Magic Guard is overall a stronger ability but all in all, which ability you will go for between Magic Card and Regener Regenerator, you kind of stumble on that word, is just fine, really. But overall, I say Reuniclus wins the ability matchup because of one reason. It has, it has a variety that is relevant and just as strong, if not even stronger, with Magic Card just giving you total immunity to stall completely. And, and seriously, that's a massive pro consider when this type of Pokemon really function and works overall. So, well... With stats out of the way and abilities, we only have, of course, a move pool to kind of cover. And how do Runic lists fare there? And I say Quarite. While I would say that, as stated before, that they do share quite a lot when it comes to move pools, they will get Psychic, Psyshock, Calm Mind, Heal Block, and Shadow Ball, Energy Ball. And I do believe, actually, that Runic list lacks Thunderbolt but gets Thunder. So there are aspects here to talk about. However, one pro that Uniclus has when it comes to TM moves, because it doesn't necessarily deviate too much when they level up outside of actually future size when I capitalize on that. Do not. But quite frankly, one thing that stands out is Focus Blast. As I said before, I think that's an issue with BHM to lack that. And I think getting it here on Reuniclus help it out quite a lot against a steel type it could potentially wall this set. We also have Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave always a good move, mainly because Thunder Wave kinda do allow it to passively stop Pokemon and of course in a filler move and flash cannon which I think infinitely is better than um, Steel Wing even though I, I clearly see a niche in this. Uh, we also have Acid Iron Armor instead of Barrier but in the end of the day it's still the same. Both get Trick and um, we have Night Shadow Reunit list to do not use that either. Um, one thing I think is interesting, though maybe not helpful, is that Reuniclus gets actually the punching moves. We have Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. Another thing that I think is really cool is that it has Super Power and Knock Off. Knock Off could be very helpful. Uh, Super Power might not be, but it is a filler move. It gets fighting moves overall, which I think is really good. It has Ring Punch and Focus Punch too, but 65 attack, yeah, maybe isn't doing anything <laughs> that much. However, it is a niche aspect, but overall, what I think Reuniclus separates from BHM is that it gets Focus Blast. However, it does lack Nasty Plot. So it basically comes down to the dialogue of which Pokemon functions fundamentally better. And I think Nasty Plotting is very, very strong. But also, its Focus Blast just kind of help a viability of a Pokemon to work against more matchups. So if I had to give a proper and honest jab about this dialogue, I think. Anyone with a decent sense of the meta would just know who wins this matchup, and it basically is the Pokemon to function against the more matchups. I don't think I need to define why Reuniclus is a lot better than BHM, but the ability stands for it, you know, those really are helpful. Reuniclus stats distribution are a lot more effective, and since the Pokemon works primarily in Trick Room, being the slower here is, well, it's the helpful benefiting here. It also helps that Magic Guard gives a total immunity to stall in, well, a big sense, actually. While I would say BHM, as stated before, it has a really strong aspect that makes it relevant and a very interesting Pokemon, but lacking a fighting proper stab, such as Focus Blast or a Sphere or really anything, hinder the punk Pokemon's functionality to actually rely on heavily on neutral damage over super effective damage and while nasty plot makes its breaks course reuniclus doesn't need a boost to do that himself due to the actual accessibility of more moves so overall here reuniclus wins but as stated had bhm had focus blast i think this dialogue would have been a bit more in depth reuniclus overall is just a much much more complete pokemon than bhm is right now so with that said you know i really just gonna have this said i actually really like BHM a lot more than Reuniclus, actually BHM is one of the coolest Pokemon introduced in Generation 5. And uh, I really just always wanted to talk about it. I think it's a Pokemon that is very, very underrated. 
and uh, there was just no other better opponent in my honest opinion against the beast that is free uniqueless however uh, it's very clear to function in the same way one just does it better than the other and i really need to be as honest as i can that said though which one do you prefer these two and just tell us why if so and of course as always thank you for watching really and join us next episode where we're gonna cover a matchup i think is very 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 tough and i really can't wait to just do it to be completely honest so with that said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then take care <laughs>